Hello YouTube, my name is Brianna. Today's video is going to be an August favorites. Woo! Today I have a lot of items to show you. I have fashion items to show you, beauty items, some music favorites, um, TV show favorites, and some other random things too. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to show you some of my beauty slash skincare um, products that I've been liking for August. And first off, I'm going to show you is, and it's it's a Nivea Soft Face Body Hands Refreshing Soft Cream. This stuff saves my life. It is so moisturizing on your face. It feels so nice and so smooth on your face. It is quite oily sometimes. Um, it's good for people with dry skin because the oil helps and stuff. But it is quite oily and I have quite oily skin. But it does help a lot. And here's a little tip for you. I learned this from Emily June, she's a YouTuber. He, with moisturizers and cleansers, you need to apply it upwards on your skin because pores, they grow downwards and you want to you wanna get them out so you have to go upwards against the skin instead of downwards. But then with primer, go um, down against the skin because you want to show less of your pores. So there's a little tip for you if you didn't know that before. So anyways, this is a facial cream that I really like a lot. The next product I have for you is... Um, this, it is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. It is a gentle exfoliating scrub. For it smells like apricots. It looks like this. If you can, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like that. Um, I've used, um, a lot of tubs of this and we have to keep buying and buying over all the time because I like it so much. I use this twice a week. It really helps um, exfoliate your skin and it's really gentle and smooth on your skin so I really recommend this if you have dry um, skin. Very nice and calming on your skin. It's really nice. The next um, product I have is another St. Ives product. This stuff is amazing. It is a St. Ives blemish control anti- um, imperfections green tea cleanser it helps breakouts and refreshes skin I have acne prone skin um, so this helps a lot I use it upwards so that, so that you can get rid of your pores and everything like that it helps so so much it's very gentle gentle on your skin it's very soft and soothing and everything like that so I'm probably going to repurchase this after I finish this because I'm almost done so Ooh. next product I have is a dry shampoo Probably you guys have already heard of this, but I'm not kidding you when I say this is the best dry shampoo in the entire world. This is the Batiste dry shampoo. It is the big and bouncy, a double XL volume. Um, it's amazing. It leaves your hair smelling really nice. It's very refreshing and everything like that. You can't see any oil once you put it in. What I don't like about it is that you can see the white residue afterwards, which makes it look like you have dan dandruff when you really don't, which sucks a lot. But I still use it because I really like it a lot. And also, when you put it in, you rub it in everything, you can feel it and I hate it. I don't like having the feeling of like rough hair. I used to have I think it's the tropical one. I used to have that, but then I took it on tour with me and then I lost it. That one was my favorite one. I do recommend this if you like a volume because as it said, it's extra double X volume. And I really recommend it if you really want volume. I kind of have volume. It's kind of flat right now, but I really do recommend this if you are in need of dry shampoo. It's really good. And so the last beauty product I have is a nail polish and it's a gray CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant. It's a very nice color. It's a very nice gray. I like using it for the summertime. I need to redo my nails because they are really bad and they're chipped and everything and they're almost gone so I really, I really need to redo them. And yeah, this has been a really good nail polish. I really like it. It stays on for a pretty long time. And if you're looking for a nice gray color, here it is. There's one right here. Next, let's get on to the fashion favorites. I have quite a few fashion favorites for you here. So the first fashion favorite I have is crop tops like this. This one is not necessarily like a crop top, like it's pretty like, it's pretty lengthy and everything, 
but I really like it. It goes below your belly button, which is really nice, so it's not like up here where it's all tight and everything. It's really nice, it's really soft. Sock crop tops are a holy grail for summertime. They're really nice and very light, and it's not very hot, too hot for you, and they're super nice. I have quite a few of these. Most of them I have are from Stitches, and as you can tell from my Outfits of the Week video, I love Stitches a lot. So, this is one of my fashion favorites. It's really nice, really soft, and a great thing to have in your wardrobe. Next fashion favorites I have are bralettes. They're really comfortable to wear, and there's a really cool design on the back. They're, it's all like caged in the back, which is really nice for um, shirts that have, yeah. which is really nice for shirts that have open backs in them. Like my shirt over here, it has an open back to it, and they're like they look really cool um, with this kind of design on the back. They're really soft. I get these from Garage, and they're not expensive at all. They're like. $12 maybe, they're really nice, and I have another one of those, and this one is floral print, they're really nice floral pin print in the same in the back, I really like wearing this underneath um, plain tops like um, white tops or black tops because the pattern shows very well, and really nice to have. My next favorite is, you can probably guess what I'm going to say. High-waisted shorts. High-waisted shorts are amazing. I have too many high pairs of high-waisted shorts. I have like 12. Like, honestly, I have like 12 pairs of high-waisted shorts. Not even kidding you. These ones are probably my favorite. They're the newest ones that I bought. Um, they go past your belly button, and they're they're not short shorts, like shorts so you can see your butt. They're perfectly fit. They're really nice. They're a nice blue acid wash, and I love them very much. Got these from um, Urban Planet. Urban Planet's like stitches except bigger and nicer clothing. So yeah, high-waisted shorts have been a holy grail for summertime and I love them very, very much. And I wear them a lot in August because August was really hot. And my next fashion, fashion favorite is also uh, a muscle tank top t-shirt kind of thing. So it's very um, low cut on the shoulders like this on the sides and they're just two eyes on there on the front and then in the back it's all open in the back with two little twist twisty ties things here and here it's really nice to wear with what I said the little caged um, bralettes they're really nice to wear and they're very light and so when it's hot outside you can wear them all the time and you won't get hot at all my next fashion favorite is these. These are amazing shoes. These are Van shoes. I've been wanting a pair of Vans for so long and I finally got them. Got them at Winners. Winners is, um, I don't know what you could, we, you would compare it to in um, America, but Winners is a place where you can buy brand clothing for a cheaper price. So I got these Vans and they're way cheaper than they would be at another, at the actual Van store like Boathouse or something like that. They're a nice maroon color. They're just laces laced up on here. Sorry if anything changed, my card was full, so I had to delete some stuff. But anyways, we just finished talking about these shoes, which were amazing again. So my next favorite, I'm done with fashion now. My next favorite is my laptop. I finally got a laptop so I can make videos for you guys, and I'm so excited for this. I wanted a Mac, but they were very expensive and we couldn't afford them right now, so we settled for an Asus. And Asus works very well and it's very, very amazing and I love it very much. Um, I don't use iMovie, but I use Windows Movie Maker, which doesn't have the same kind of things as iMovie does and the same quality and everything like that. But it works pretty well for the videos that I make, which is really cool. So yeah, favorite's this. And my next favorite, don't make fun of me for my next favorite. I'm just enjoying this a lot. It's coloring books! I've been so into coloring lately. I guess I've just missed it a lot. It's, what I like to do is like, I like to sit in my chair, right across from me right here, and I like to color and just listen to music. It's just really soothing and I really like it a lot. It's just really fun. Do you want to see the one I just recently colored? Look, they're presents, aren't 
they pretty? I like it a lot. So I like it well. Fun. Okay, my next favorites are TV shows. Um, a TV show that I've recently just finished on Netflix is Gilmore Girls. I cannot tell you guys enough how much I love Gilmore Girls. I used to watch it a long time ago when, with my mom when I was little and it just brought back a lot of memories and I love it so much. There's seven season, seasons and it took a really long time to finish it but it's really good and worth watching all the seven seasons, okay? Watch it. Watch it. It's amazing and you'll love it so much. And right now I am watching The Secret Life of the American Teenager. It's pretty good so far. I'm only on the third episode but it's pretty good. Um, the next TV show I've been loving is Big Brother. Big Brother is my favorite TV show in the entire world. If you don't watch it, what are you doing with your life? You are missing out. Please go and watch it. It's so great. I've also been loving Amazing Race Canada, which is when you just race around the world, which is really cool. My next favorite has been America's Got Talent. I love that show. I love that show to death. It is amazing. Please watch it. Please. Please. If you love to see dancing and people swallowing stuff and bringing it back up and like, I don't know again if there anything changed. My car was full again so we had to delete stuff again. Anyways, I was talking about my favorite TV shows. Am I focused? I don't know if I'm focused. I'm sorry if I'm not focused. Anyways, um, my next TV show favorite is America's Next Top Model. If you like people fighting to be models or anything like that, please go watch it. If you like competition, just go watch it. It's a great show. Why wouldn't you watch it? It's great. I think that's all the TV shows I've been watching that I've been liking. I think. <gasps> no! Bachelor in Paradise. Please watch it. If you like to see drama and things that don't make any sense, just watch it. It's very fun entertainment. I think it's better than The Bachelor and Bachelorette because instead of one person and then a million people going after that person to try to date them. There's multiple guys and multiple girls so they can be together and there's many other options. Yeah. That's my favorite TV shows. Favorite songs. Let me go on my Spotify. Okay. I've been liking to Want Me by Jason Derulo, Where Are You Now by Justin Bieber, Youth by Daughter. Please go watch it. It's such a pretty, pretty song. It's so beautiful. I love that song. Um, Stitches by Shawn Mendes. I just want to tell you guys that Shawn Mendes is my favorite singer in the entire world. I know every single lyric to all of his songs on his album and on his past EPs or whatever. Just so you know. I like Budapest by George, e George Ezra. You Know You Like Me by DJ Snake and Alana George. That's my favorite song of all time right now. I love it so much. And Deserve by Dwayne. Um, I like Drag Me Down by One Direction. Um, I'm So Sorry by Imagine Dragons. Middle of the Bed by Lucy Rose. Please go listen to all those songs. I will try to link all of those songs in the, in the down bar so you guys can hear it. So that is it for my August favorites video. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what my next video should be. I've had some videos planned out already, so watch out for those. And like and subscribe if you want to see more and you like to see these videos. I'm so excited to make more videos for you guys. So excited. And my social media will be linked description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you Monday, Tuesday, or Friday. What? Whenever this video is going to go up. I don't know. It's going to be on a Monday or Friday. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Good. Bye!